A stranger suddenly slashed a high school girl he had never seen before in his life. According to new charges, he told deputies he did it because, quote, maybe she said something that didn't sound right. Completely random, out of the blue, and this was a random act of violence. New tonight, that witness told our Kirsten Mitchell he couldn't believe what he was seeing. You just never expect something like that to happen. A routine trip to this Carver Fleet Farm was anything but normal for Travis Armstrong on Sunday. All of a sudden, I hear a girl scream. He stabbed me and yelled it multiple times. An employee was stabbed in the back of the neck by, and a male is gone. According to charging documents, surveillance video showed a man walk past the 17-year-old employee, then return and stab her in the neck while her back was turned. She was bleeding heavily and she is now unconscious. Authorities say the suspect, identified as 31-year-old Gerald Dwayne Hudson, then ran out to his car, which Travis says was parked right next to his. Inside was his 15-year-old daughter, Ava, waiting for him. Just two years younger, I know, and that's why I think it hits really close to home, because I recognize that this could have been my daughter. Another worker caught his license plate, and deputies were on his tail in a matter of minutes. He was arrested in the Jersey Mike's parking lot in Chanhassen. Hudson was then taken to the Carver County Jail, where he now faces first and second degree assault charges. His bond was set at $1 million. In an interview with investigators, Hudson reportedly told them he had asked the employee where to find something in the store and that maybe she said something that didn't sound right to me. So he picked up a thing and hit her with it. Authorities believe the attack was random. You just feel horrible for her that she had to undergo something so uh, traumatizing and what could have been easily life threatening. A friend of the victim's family says the teen is out of the hospital. I'm so grateful uh, that she's OK. And I do pray for a speedy recovery for her. In Carver County, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Investigators say the suspect is from Kansas City. Court records show he has a gun conviction in Las Vegas. It's not clear, though, why he was here in Minnesota.